Hi, my name is Shola Majigny. I am a sophomore at Washington University in St. Louis. I'm majoring in organizational and strategic management, minoring in international business. Hi, my name is Vincentia Williams. I am a freshman in Augustana College, and I feel like God is calling me to ministry. Being a volunteer scholar, I've grown in like so many different areas. I feel like I gained like another family. Really pushed me out my comfort zone, gave me so much confidence, and just really opened my eyes to new new perspectives. Always being the first to take that first step to say hi, it's definitely like been there to help me with like all the financial aspects, the communication aspects, even like applying for college was another aspect like that. Being more organized and disciplined and ask good questions um, definitely help with like financial maturity and how you're investing in your money, just getting the most out of my college experience. It's not only about my life, it's about others around me who may not have that same opportunity to ask me and do it just because you want to. And not because you have to. MYELF has this warmth that is just so rich and pure, rooted in Christ. Like there's a lot of love and connection there. Like I love the experiences. I would say definitely take advantage of those opportunities that come your way. Whether it's the tours, the interviews, um, internships, networking events, you know, don't hesitate to jump in and get the most out of it. Just be aware that you have people who will support you and cheer you on as you take the next step in your journey. As scholars, you also give your full heart. Um, don't do anything half-heartedly. Making sure that what you do, you do it the best way possible. And then also continue to just give back and getting to know more of your MBF brothers and sisters, and also your MBF staff, uh, or actually, you can call them aunties and uncles. We're still here, um, so no one's going anywhere. I think it's important that we're all in this together. When it comes to the future, there are the stereotypes about business people, like trying to take money, push other people down, like that's not what I want to embody. And I want to be able to teach others how to, to give back and not to just keep and hold for yourself. It's very much <laughs> guided my future of wanting to like give back and even not only to other people, but also like to me up. So it's, it's like a, it's a cycle. It took me a while to realize the difference between being a leader and being a servant leader, finding my identity in Christ what it means to to show who Jesus is through your actions, through the way you present yourself. You know, I'm no longer living for myself. I want them to see Jesus through me. What I want to do for the rest of my life. You know, I want to like fully give my life to, to Christ and just, you know, live for him. Oh, I should get One of the things that I envision for MEF is grow the family. Um, if there's more people out there who can say like, I wanna be a master scholar, and I feel like MEF can get to that point where they can open doors for so many children in the world. I see the way that MEF has impacted my parents and maybe they don't know it about themselves with my mom, like on random days, she'd be like picturing an idea of how we can impact the community together or just seeing how my how my dad just take experiences that he's seen with MEF and like, oh, I want to put this into music. How much of an impact MEF really is, it's just amazing.